Hi there, this is a training video session by GG Technologies. From this training session you can understand how to create a new web application and site collection in SharePoint 2010. Before surfing deep into the training session, let me refresh you with the basic info on SharePoint 2010, web application and site collection. SharePoint is one of the software products developed by Microsoft for web publishing, business collaboration etc. Its features include sites for web publishing, communities to share ideas, content for content management, search provides refined search of data, insights for information access, and composites offer tools for business solutions. In SharePoint 2010 a new web application creation comprises of creating a new internet information service website for hosting the content and a new database in the MSSQL server. A site collection is a logical structure and a top-level site, in which enormous sites can be created and housed, like branches and sub-branches from a tree. OK, now it's time to start, now for creating a new web application. Open the SharePoint Central Administration website, in that spot the Application Management section and click, Manage Web Applications link. Now in the Manage Web Applications page. Notice the option New and click it. Start the process with the Authentication section, in which select either Classic Mode Authentication to support for Windows Authentication, or Claims Based Authentication to support for Advanced Authentications. Here I select Classic Mode Authentication. In the Internet Information Services website section, you can configure the settings for your new web application. As a first step, Select Create a New Internet Information Services website, and type the name of the website in the description box. Provide the port number, and host header URL, to access the web application. In the Security Configuration section, configure the authentication and encryption settings for your web application. For configuring authentication providers, select either Kerberos or NTLM. Here I select NTLM. To decide the nature of access for your web application, select either yes or no for the allow anonymous option. Here I select no. The public URL section specifies the domain name for all the sites accessed in the SharePoint web application. By default it is set to the current server name and port number. In the application pool section either select the option use existing application pool or create a new application pool. Here I select the option, Create a new application pool. In the Database Name and Authentication section, carefully enter the values for Database Server and Database Name for Authentication. You can either select Windows Authentication or SQL Authentication. Here I select Windows Authentication. Then for the Service Application Connections section specify your connection type. Here I specify, it is default. Finally, select your option for Customer Experience Improvement Program. Here I opt to No. Now press OK to complete the creation of web application. Now a new page inscribed with caption, Application Created successfully appears, in that select the link Create Site Collection. Enter the title and description for your new site to be housed in the site collection. Specify the website address for your new site. Then select the template for your team site. Carefully specify the primary and secondary site collection administrator. Select the quota as per your requirement. Here I select no quota. Then press OK. After completion, a new page inscribed with the caption, Top Level Site Successfully Created appears, in that select the link of the website address, which you specified during the creation of site collection. You can also create a site collection by selecting the option Create Site Collections from the Application Management section in the Central Administration and proceed with the same process as performed before. Now you can successfully browse your new site created in your site collection for the web application you specified. We hope that this training session on the creation of web application and site collection in SharePoint 2010 made your task simple and interesting. We feel happy in providing you with the training on how to create a new web application and site collection in SharePoint. For queries, 
feel free to contact us at guruji at ggtech.com. In our forthcoming training session you can check out how to extend and unextend an existing web application in SharePoint 2010. Looking forward to serve you better. Thank you.